Like many children growing up with a learning disability, 12-year-old Kenny Perone has often been labeled different or special. On the morning of December 18, 1991, the community of Donellan, Florida, found out for the first time just how special Kenny is. Children with attention deficit disorder, they can only pay attention to one thing at a time. Everything that happens disrupts them and takes them off their chain of thought. Hi, good morning, Mr. Schneider. Morning, Kenny. But Kenny is a very empathetic and compassionate person. He cares sometimes more for other people than he does for himself. More than 50 students, including Kenny Perot, rode Don Snyder's bus to school every morning. On December 18, 1991, Don had begun his shift at 6.40 a.m. It was a cold day, and then I saw Mr. Snyder. He was starting to sweat. I said, Mr. Snyder, in case, he says, yeah, pretty good. I thought he was just tired and stuff. The bus was approaching the Donellan Middle School, just a few hundred yards ahead. He started looking at me funny. What's the matter, Mr. Snyder? What's the matter? And he was gasping for air. With his friend Aaron Brown helping, Kenny tried to take control of the bus. His foot was on the gas, and I was trying to get his foot off the gas. I was heading toward a telephone pole. students ran to get assistant principal Herbert Dupree. On arriving there, the driver was beginning to gain consciousness. My lord, he looked ashen, distraught. Richard Clifton, who had also been riding the bus, notified the school's front office. I told her that my bus driver had passed out. I thought that he was having a heart attack or something. He said, I recall trying to turn the bus, and then that was it. Paramedic Greg Bixler and his partner with the Monroe Regional Ambulance Service arrived on the scene within five Hello. minutes. Hi. How you doing? Better. He wasn't complaining about any pains or no headaches, no chest pain. He also complained of a little bit of stomach cramps initially right before he passed out. He felt pretty bad. It's scary to see someone get sick. He was a friend to me and wanted to help him. Tests revealed that Don Snyder had suffered a severe reaction to the prescription cough medicine he had taken that morning for the first time. If you're not sure how medicine's gonna affect you, don't drive or do anything that's gonna require any fine motor coordination. Take a dose, see how it's gonna affect you before you go doing anything that will require you to use good judgment. One month later, Don was back in the driver's seat. I didn't know what happened until I got home from the hospital that night. I was walked in the house, and the phone was ringing, it was my boss, and I said, what happened? And she told me that Kenny Peroni had uh, got up and steered the bus and, and stopped it. Real thankful for that. 
I wouldn't have expected Kenny, one of the smallest kids on the bus, to take command like that. If Kenny hadn't, like, stopped the bus, I think we probably would have hit the phone pole and a couple of people could have been hurt. I think he was brave for what he did. And that if it ever happened again, that I'd rather have him on my bus than any other kid. Kenny's father, Andy Perone, a volunteer fire chief, is proud of the way his son handled the emergency. Kenny just seen somebody needed help, and the kids were on the bus. He hollered, go back to the bus. He took charge. Sometimes Kenny gets like that. He loves to take charge of things. And just that day, he took charge the proper way. On January 28, 1992, the city of Donellan presented awards to Kenny Perone and his friend Aaron for their heroic efforts in stopping the bus. We do want to present this award to you. And it's very difficult to explain how it is to have a child that you pray for almost 12 years. That you know that he is capable of so much. And to have everybody say he doesn't fit the clone of the perfect child. And all I could say was, right on, kid man, I'm proud of you. You know.